Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show how to install Kali Linux 2024.4. So let's start. So we get the fourth update of Kali Linux this year. So the new version of Kali Linux is available on the official website of Kali. I will give the official website link in the description below. So first of all, you have to download the Kali Linux installer according to your hardware. Now here you can choose your Kali according to your needs. Like virtual machines, mobile, cloud, live boot, WSL, ARM, containers, etc. Here I am choosing the installer image option. Now in the installer image section, you can download the ISO image according to your system. You can select 64-bit architecture or Apple architecture. Now download the Kali Linux ISO image. You can download directly from a web browser or you can use a torrent. I have already downloaded the 64-bit Kali Linux installer. So I skipped this part. Now the second step is to download an application that helps you create a bootable USB drive. You can use the Belina Etcher to create a bootable USB drive. It is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Or you can use the Rufus tool for this. But Rufus only supports the Windows operating system. In this tutorial, I am using Belina Etcher. Here, I am using the Windows operating system. I have already downloaded Belina Etcher and Kali ISO image. So this is the Kali Linux 2024.4 ISO image. Now open the Belina Etcher application and follow the steps. Now click on Flash from File and select your downloaded Kali Linux 2024.4 installer image. Now connect your USB drive to your computer. Now. Here you have to select the USB drive that you want to bootable. Your USB drive is at least 8 gigabytes. Now here you can see my Kali Linux ISO and USB are connected with Belina Etcher. Now click on Flash to make a bootable USB drive. Belina Etcher is a free and open source utility used for writing image files, such as the ISO and the IMG files, as well as zip folders onto storage media to create live SD cards and USB flash drives. Now, the Belina Etcher application makes your USB bootable. If you want how to make a bootable USB drive in macOS and Linux, please comment below. Now reboot your system and boot your machine from a USB drive. In my case, I have a second system, so I will switch the system here. In the BIO setting, you have to make a USB as the first boot device, or you can press the function key to go boot menu. This is my BIO settings, and I make USB drive is my first boot device. Now Kali Linux installer menu is here. I am using UEFI mode in this tutorial. Now the first step is to install Kali Linux 2024.4. Here you have to select how you want to install your Kali. I choose here graphical install. Now here you have to select the preferred language you want for your system. Now select your location. It is based on the language you selected. Now here you have to select your default keyboard layout. It detects the installation media and loads the additional components. I am using an Ethernet connection in my system. But if you are using a Wi-Fi interface, then you will get here a window where you have to choose your Wi-Fi. Now here you have to enter the host name for the system. You can enter the any host name you want. Here you can skip the domain name. Just click on continue. Leave it empty. Now set up the full username for the system. Now here set up a username for your account. Now set up a strong password for your Kali Linux users. Now we have to create the partitions here. I am creating the partition manually. So I select the manual option here. Now we have to know about our partitions. In this system, my Kali Linux is already installed. Now I want to delete the old one and install the Kali Linux 2024.4 in this system. 
If you want to install the dual windows, then click on the i button where you can learn about Kali Linux Dual Boot or Kali on Virtual Machine. So now we have 256 gigabytes of space. Now select free space and click on continue. Create a new partition. Now here set the space you want. If you are using UEFI mode, you have to create an EFI system partition. So the first partition is our EFI system partition. Make sure you follow the steps. So here you have to choose the EFI system partition option. So this is the EFI partition. Now select the done setting up the partition option here and click on continue. Now our second partition is the swap partition. So again, follow the same steps. And here you have to set the size between four gigabytes to eight gigabytes. This partition is our swap partition. So here you have to select the swap area option. Now select the done setting up the partition option here and click on continue. The swap partition serves as overflow space for your RAM. If your RAM fills up completely, any additional applications will run off the swap partition rather than RAM. Now our third and last partition is slash the root directory partition. Follow the same steps. Now I am using the rest of the size, but this partition minimum of at least 20 gigabytes, select the primary partition here. Now here file system is the extension for and the mount point is slash. Now our partition part is done. Select this option and click on continue. Here verify the partition's information and select the yes option and click on continue. Now your base system is installed in your system. Now here you have to select the options like which desktop environment you want. The default desktop environment is XFCE. I am going with default settings here. You can choose as you want. Now here selected software is installing in your system. It takes some time to install Kali Linux in your system. Now our Kali Linux 2024.4 installation is completed. Click on continue to reboot your system. So that is it. This is the way how to install Kali Linux 2024.4 on your machine with UEFI mode. Thank you for watching this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.